in the previous lectures we understand how to create a record how to get all your documents how to get only a single document from the collection and how to update the document of the collection now at the end let me show you how you can delete the document from the mongodb database so i'm going to create a new route for that and show you how you can delete the mongodb document so just down here i'm going to create a new route so i'm going to say here app dot delete now you can notice here i'm using http delete method to delete the mongodb document inside this delete i'm going to specify my route path so in the single code after the forward slash i'm going to specify here to do the route path and then specify a variable so i'm going to say here colon and say to do id now you also need to specify value to this variable when you make a delete request because you need to specify which document you want to delete from the mongodb database so you need to pass id with the delete http request so just out of that here i'm going to specify my controller so as you know i don't have this controller inside this to do con controller so here just down here i'm going to create a new command and say delete to do controller and just on here i'm going to say exports dot delete is equal to and then i'm going to pass here request and response parameter and pass the callback function and i'm going to call this controller inside this route here so i'm going to say here controller dot delete so when the route is match i'm going to call this delete controller save this file back to the controller and here let me create my delete controller to delete the document i'm going to use this delete controller so i'm going to just first specify here to do the schema and then call a method find by id and delete i'm going to specify that here and inside it inside this parenthesis of this find by id and delete method i'm going to specify here my params or you can say my parameter variable so i'm going to say here request dot params dot to do id you can notice here inside my route i have this variable to do id i'm going to specify that value here and just out of that i'm going to specify then method if this method returns the successful promise or you can say resolve promise i'm going to get that inside this then method or if it is a rejected promise i'm going to get that inside this catch method inside this then i'm going to specify to do a parameter and specify here a callback function inside it i'm going to say if if i don't have any value inside this to do just execute this if statement with the return statement request dot status with the status code 404 and specify here send and i'm going to specify here an object and specify here a message inside this message i'm going to specify to do not found with id and then i'm going to concatenate the request dot params dot to do id so if you specify value to this to do id but if this method couldn't find that document you will get this error just out of that just out of this if statement here i'm going to say response dot send and inside this parenthesis i'm going to simply say message and i'm going to specify a message to do deleted successfully now when your data is deleted successfully i'm going to return this message just out of that inside this catch here i'm going to catch the error if the promises is not resolved so i'm going to say here error and then return the response dot status and i'm going to send a status 404 and i'm going to send a message with it inside an object so i'm going to say here message to do not found with id and then i'm going to concatenate my request dot params dot to do id that's super easy right to create a delete controller let me save this file and test this controller now if the error is a type of object id then you can return a specific error as well for example let's say if the error is a kind of object id or the error name is not found then you can just add here if statement like this if and inside that you can specify if the error is a kind of is equal to object id or if the error name is equal to not found then execute this error message or you can say execute this if statement with this return statement so i'm going to copy this return and specify that here so i'm going to just add here two errors inside this catch method if the error is a kind of object id or if the error has name 
not found i'm going to execute this error message and inside this written statement inside this message key i can specify my different message so i can just specify here to do not found with object id and then i'm going to specify my object id here that's easy right now let me save this file and now let me delete my document you can notice here inside my collection i have two documents let me delete one of them so i'm going to delete my first document so what i'm going to do is i'm going to specify this id in the url so i'm going to just copy this id and here i'm going to make the delete http request and just out of that as you know inside my route i have here to do so i'm going to pass here to do and inside it as you can notice we have the variable so i'm going to pass variable value here inside this url just like this and now i don't have to specify anything here instead i'm going to just make this request so when i click on the send button it will delete this first document from this collection let me show you if i click on this send button you can notice you're going to get the response to do delete it successfully and now if you make the get request again you can notice you only have one record inside your collection so as you can so so you can notice here how easy it is to delete the record from the mongodb database now i hope you understand how to create a simple crude operation in mongodb and express practice with this code to understand how it works and how you can implement it in your application